a souffle at this stage of the competition a good idea. It demonstrates skill, it shows adventure, it shows that you really want to push the boat out. It's just got to make sure it works. It should be serving in about four minutes, please. Okay. Nice. Okay, three. Yep. <sighs> lovely, lovely. What's got to go on there? Cabbage and sauce. <sighs> you done? Yep. Come on, Annie. Hold on, Annie. I've made for you pan-roasted venison with mashed potato, a braised red cabbage, glazed chestnuts and a red wine port and chocolate sauce. Thank you. The cabbage, the venison and the mashed together, they're beautiful. Loving all those things. But the glazed uh, chestnuts are, are sort of too caramelly, the chocolate sauce is too chocolatey and they're very des desserty. I mean, they really are that sweet. And I think she's got signs of being a really good cook. She just needs to learn to balance the flavours better. That's a cold, wintry day, yummy dish to come home to, isn't it? It's hearty, it's good. The venison is cooked very, very well. Uh, I think it's a great dish, mm. a great dish. 15 minutes for this pudding, yeah? Yep. Fanny's dessert is lemongrass souffle with mango sorbet, which I think sounds fantastic, but it's a souffle and a sorbet, and there's a lot of room <laughs> for error. You all right, Annie? Yep, I'm OK. Where's your sorbet, Annie? It's in the freezer. OK, and, and how long have the souffle's got? Um, one and a half minutes. OK. Yay! Happy, Annie? I am. They don't look very pretty, but you're right. Nice! Let's go! Mmm! Come on, Annie. I like okay, that. If you don't mind, you can have that one. Yes, all right. Nice. I don't mind. Let's go, Annie. Quick. Come on, Annie. Thank you. Thank you. For dessert, I've made you a lemongrass souffle and mango sorbet. Hope you're enjoying. Thank you. Thank you. I am so impressed with her. I mean, to get a hot souffle out and a frozen sorbet is, you know, amazing. The souffle texture is great. Mm. It's soft and pillowy. Unfortunately, it doesn't really taste of lemongrass. You know, I can get hints of a lemongrass if you, if you eat it without the, the mango sorbet, but hats off to her for executing two very difficult things, especially under time pressure. I've never had souffle and sorbet together before, and I really like it. That souffle isn't cooked properly for me. It's still, like, wet inside. However, I love the mango sorbet. Absolutely love it. It was the fastest hour in 15 minutes of all time. I think, yeah, I think I really pushed myself. I, I, I kind of threw a lot of love at it, and hopefully that came across.